Hi Facebook friends. It's Susan with the Withered Barn here in Homedale, Idaho. And I was working on a project today which I probably could give you a sneak peek at but I'd rather just give you the reveal later. But I wanted to show you how fabulous this amazing casting resin is. I haven't used it a whole lot to be truthful. I usually use IOD paper clay or creative paper clay depending on the look I'm going for. Creative paper clay is um, a little smoother and lightweight. Let me show you real quick the texture of it and that way you can kind of see what, what I'm talking about. This is the creative paper clay. It is definitely softer, smoother clay some people may not like to work with it. Um, I enjoy it. I, I like it because I can smooth it out really well when I'm using my molds on pieces. And then let me show you the Iron Orchids Des Designs Paper Clay, whoops, what that texture is. It's going to give you a little bit more of an old world and like a true paper clay. And let me show you. It's a little denser and you can actually see the paper fibers in there. So it's more of a true paper clay. This one I use to get the real vintagey look. I love the way that it dries out, the little bit of crackle to it. Um, if I paint it right away, it doesn't crackle as much, but I really enjoy the, the old world plastery look that it gives me. Now, just recently, like I said, I had tried this amazing casting resin. All three of these products are available at the Withered Barn, both in the shop and online. But I want to show you real quick what this does because it's it's mesmerizing to me. <laughs> so today I'm going to do this sample of amazing casting resin on Iron Orchids Designs Baroque 6 mold on this trim one right here. Baroque 6 has five separate molds and this is from their pre-2018 line, but I'm using it on the base of an end table. I'll show you what it looks like applied in a second. But in your box, you're going to get two separate bottles. These are the ones you're going to mix together. What they are, I don't know. But they do react with each other. You're going to get your little mixing cups to measure with. I use a stir stick. It comes with one, but I've already ruined it, of course. So here's the two cups. I'm going to get down here real quick so I can measure. So I'm going to put the darker one. Whoops, I guess I stuck the lid on too tight. There we go. The darker one in one cup. And I'm going to go up to, I think it's the 25 ounce, because or 0.25, yeah, 0.25. Because I'm going to pour two molds at once. I only need two more to go to finish my project. But you can see how this is yellow. It's almost like an oil looking. And then, and then this one is the white or clear. And I'm going to fill that cup up. To the same spot. Now normally I would do this in, let me move these aside so I don't spill anything. Normally I would do this in a paper cup, but I wanted you all to see what it does. It will react and, and kind of melt this plastic, so I'm going to pour it fairly quickly. But, let me get these ready so I'm not rushing. So I'm going to pour one in the cup. and the second one. And you'll see it's going to turn kind of a cloudy white. Now can you see that? Let me hold it up. Kind of a cloudy white. And then all of a sudden, there it goes. It'll turn clear again. Once it's clear again, it's ready to pour. And see, it's already turning clear. Okay. Give this a second. Lay that aside. 
So now that it's clear, that my mold's ready, I'm gonna get down here again. And since this one's got a little bit of fine detail, I pour really slow, because I don't wanna go over the edge. I need it flat to go onto my piece on the back side. One more. There we go. Oh, it looks like it's a little bubbly. A little too much. I've got a heavy hand. And then you guys can watch as it turns white and is ready to peel out. Now this does take a few minutes but your result is such an amazing detail. Now I'm gonna throw this cup away real quick because I don't want it melting through. It's a little warm, but it's not melting. Yeah, so let me leave you here just a second. You guys can watch that. Throw this in the trash. Wipe my hands, whoops, I left it over here. And I'm sure you guys have heard the expression waiting for paint to dry. This is kind of the same thing. The minute you take your eyes off of it, it starts turning cloudy and white, and that means it's curing, and it'll be ready to go. So in the meantime, real quick, let me just show you a sneak peek Oops. at what I'm doing. Just a sneak peek. Ready? That's enough. I'm using um, Miss Lillian's Lichen Lichen. This actually looks really bright, and it's not. It's not this bright. But um, I'll be embellishing with black gold precious gems over this old decal here. So I hope it turns out. We'll see. And then I'll be glazing over the whole top just to tone it down a little bit. But you can see, let me set this back down, the molding, the amazing casting resin, is starting to cure right there. So let's just wait a minute and then um, I'll show you how you peel it out. There's no way to make it quicker. It just has to have that right amount of time on there. Let me think, did I get something new in today? No, I'm waiting for an order of uh, some new transfers from Iron Orchids Design. So that's gonna be exciting. I've got some colored florals coming in, wildflower, botanicals, some more redoubt, which are the red florals and a couple other things. Isn't that amazing? It is truly amazing. That's probably why they call it that. Hmm. I love it. Now I'll show you one more project that's sitting here because I keep staring at it and I need to get it finished. And that's this tree. I don't know if you can see it. I've got to put moldings over the whole thing. And then I'm going to repaint it in rose gold. And then we'll be putting um, a gold precious gems over it. Oh, I just my stand.